themselves for coming up with this. Hello, my name is Jane Brandt. I'm from Vineland, New Jersey. I'm a 1980 graduate of Rowan, which was then Glassboro. And I'm here to tell a story regarding an envelope that President Johnson received from the crowd when he came out over there to uh, greet the crowds. Well, this is a new story. Please tell us. I was 13 at the time, and my father was a then reporter for the my late father, Del Brandt, and my mother, Hannah Brandt, and may I say I'm giving this portion of the interview in their memories. My father was a reporter for the Violent Times Journal and was lucky enough to receive this assignment and called my mother and told me and my mother to get ready in a hurry because we were going to a presidential summit. And on the way in the car, my mother was uh, aware that President Johnson had recently become a grandfather. And I guess it must have struck a sentimental nerve and a very sentimental heart. So she asked in the car if we could come up with something she could write on. And all we could find was a tattered old envelope and a stub of a journalist pencil. But that wasn't enough to stop her from writing, congratulations, Grandpa, and have it ready. And after she held up the sign, I was so embarrassed that I, at 13, I didn't want to know, I didn't want anyone to know that this was my mother. But when President Johnson motioned for her to come forward, all of a sudden I was very pleased that it was my mother, and I was arm in arm with her as we went forward, and Johnson motioned that he would like to have the sign in his possession. And um, this is where the story t is uh, taken over by this person I met here today who was kind enough to go into his house and retrieve um, this Life magazine photograph showing the envelope. Oh my goodness, with the envelope. Look at that. And he was older and could tell you more about the crowd reaction to this. Will you introduce yourself, please? Well, my name is Don Bills, and uh, I'm a 1968 graduate of Glassboro State College. Uh, at the time, I was uh, going to school full time and also working in the administration building for Dr. Robinson, uh, doing maintenance between classes. And uh, that morning, got to uh, work to. Uh, you know, start to do my normal chores, and we were told that there was a change uh, of plans. And uh, at first, they took us to the Esby Gym, where we helped to set up the media center. And uh, then we came back over here, where I had the uh, very good fortune of going inside Holly Bush uh, to help set up the tables and uh, the uh, place settings and everything for the uh, for the conference. Uh, when we were finished, uh, I then went home and got my two-year-old son, and we came back and stood down on Whitney Avenue uh, in the crowd and, uh, you know, witnessed the event. Um, and uh, I was also fortunate enough to uh, take many Polaroid pictures, one of which uh, is th this picture uh, of uh, Johnson reading the letter, and uh, I still have them today. And, uh, and he told me something about the Secret Service, which I wouldn't have been aware of. Yeah, well, the Secret Service, the Green Berets, were all up in this area, up in here. So there was a military presence. And growing up in the Cold War, you know, we never were you know, quite sure exactly what would have taken place. Exactly. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah. That atmosphere of fear that pervaded immediately in the years immediately before the summit. So a president yes. saying to someone in the audience to come forward, Probably, and it didn't occur to me until I had this conversation with Mr. Phils that uh, would have alerted the Secret Service as my mother came forward and the state trooper intercepted the envelope uh, before it was given to Johnson. But um, later, after it was over, we were interviewed by the media. So when I came present today and was uh, able to tell the story again, it's like a deja vu experience. And uh, that you can see her tattered envelope and her scrawled but you can also see from the um, expression on his face that it was a, a, a nice human moment um, at a very tense time and Johnson was not known for his sentimentality but you can see on his face um, that there was a connection between my mother's gesture and his heart yes, right in, and us. Uh, Yes, I was yes. very proud of her, and it became a family story. And um, my late mother and father wouldn't have been able to be here today to tell the story, so I wanted to do it in their place. And I thank you for the opportunity. Well, thank you so much for coming and sharing. Is there anything else you would like to add? No, really. Not really. Uh, 
Uh, I was, we were fortunate enough to have uh, the president come to our graduation. This is the uh, uh, brochure, the uh, you know, bullet in front of the... Uh, now, were you in that class? Yes. That 68 class? Yes, I was. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So he came to speak and it was uh, quite memorable. Now, you mentioned that you, you uh, had a, a, a job mm -hmm. here on campus. Uh, and I think you said that um, photographers and the press were in uh, ESB. Yes. What else, what other special kinds of preparations had to be made? For, uh, well, we, we had to set up the entire media center. I mean, people from all over the world were there. Uh, so the entire gym was filled with tables, um, you know, all types of uh, you know, telephone equipment. And we had to help set up the tables and chairs. Um, coming back over here, there was very high security. And we did go in and set up the tables, and we had to set the set the tables for, with the uh, inside of inside Holly Bush. And then when it was over, um, you know, we actually had to go in and, and clean up afterwards. So I had the opportunity to do that as well, and uh, ended up finding a picture. This was uh, a picture that I found in the garbage several days later in the administration building of the. Uh, of the table where the conference took place. And, uh, so it's, that's an original. So, uh, I mean, I've always, uh, it's always been a big part of my life, and my son, only being two, uh, you know, had uh, part of history in his life as well. Wonderful. Thank you.